Hello, dear students. Let's start a new model, virtual reality. Open your books at page 35. Exercise 1. Read the definition. Virtual reality, a 3D environment which can be explored and interacted with using special equipment such as a headset with a screen, building headphones and a microphone. Now you are to answer the question. What do you know about virtual reality and what do we use it for? Listen to the opinion. VR uses computer technology to create realistic images and sounds that allow someone through a headset to feel like they are in a virtual or imaginary environment. We use VR for entertainment, healthcare, art and education purposes. Now let's get acquainted with new words. Listen to them, write them down and repeat. Built in. Interact. Patient. Simulate. Virtual reality. Let's watch the video. Virtual reality. Virtual reality is a 3D environment which can be explored and interacted with using special equipment, such as a headset with a screen built-in headphones and a microphone. Let's take a look at some of the opportunities that VR technology offers us. With online shopping, you miss the experience of going into a store and picking up items. However, virtual reality allows shoppers to visit the world's best department stores from their homes. Have you ever dreamed of exploring space? Well, it no longer has to be a dream. With the right virtual reality software, you can visit new planets and travel to distant stars without leaving Earth. Architects always needed great imaginations to think of their 2D designs in the real world. With VR technology, they can now simulate the construction of a new building. Virtual reality also has a lot to offer the world of entertainment. For example, gamers can now interact with one another in immersive gameplay using their VR headsets. Education is also benefiting from virtual reality. A teacher can take their students on a field trip without leaving the classroom. Healthcare has a lot to gain too. Medical students can now practice operating on patients without any risk while learning new skills practically. And exercise 2. Match the applications of virtual reality to the pictures. Now let's check. Number 1. Experience new planets without leaving Earth. It's picture B. Number 2. Practice operating on patients without any risk. It's picture F. 3. Go on a field trip without leaving the classroom. E. Fourth, visit the world's best department stores from your home. It's picture A. The fifth, simulate the construction of a new building. Picture C. And the last, interact with other gamers in immersive gameplay. It's picture D. Now please answer. Which application is related to the field of architecture, education, Space exploration, shopping, entertainment, health care. You are to make sentences as in the example. Now let's listen and check. Experiencing new planets without leaving Earth is related to the field of space exploration. Visiting the world's best department stores from your home is related to the field of shopping. Simulating the construction of a new building is related to the field of architecture. Going on a field trip without leaving the classroom is related to the field of education. Interacting with other gamers in immersive gameplay is related to the field of entertainment. Practicing operating on patients without any risk is related to the field of healthcare. And over to you. Which application of virtual reality do you think is the most important and why? 
Listen to the opinion. I think healthcare is the most important aspect of VR. Because surgeons can practice a tricky or delicate surgery without any risk to the patient. They can practice many times until they can perform the surgery perfectly. This way the risks are greatly reduced. Now you are to imagine you have virtual reality headsets in your classroom. Where would you go and what would you do? Why? Listen to the opinion. If we had VR headsets in our classroom, I would like to go somewhere amazing, like the North Pole or even Mars, and walk around and see what it is like there. I would be able to see polar bears without getting cold or being in danger, and I would get to be in space on another planet without leaving the room. Now let's open your books at page 36. We are going to talk about products of the future. Exercise 1. Material and substances. Listen and say. Fabric. Cotton. Silk. Wool. Nylon, etc. Metal. Aluminium. Steel, etc. Glass. Wood. Oak. Pine, etc. Plastic. Now you are to make sentences as in the example. The bag is made of silk. The key is made of metal. The bottle is made of glass. The chair is made of wood. The box is made of plastic. Let's get acquainted with new words. Listen to them. Repeat and write down in your vocabularies. Don't forget to learn them by heart. Audience. Bandage. Booth. Cartridge. Develop textiles. Dissolve. Drop in. Dry instantly. Endless possibilities. Fully functional. Garment. Generate electricity. Go on sale. Immersive gameplay. Lighter. Lightweight. Look into. Minute fiber. Monitor fitness. No assembly required. Skin graft. Spray on fabric. Surgeon. Take something to the next level. Trendsetter. Turn into. In exercise 2, you are to read the title, the introduction, and look at the pictures. You are to talk about what you expect the text to be about. I expect the text to be about technology of the future and how it will make life easier for people. Now let's read the text and watch the video. Tomorrow's World Let's take a look at what everyday life might be like in the future. While some scientists are developing textiles that allow the wearer to generate electricity as they walk, and others are working on clothes that monitor your fitness, two scientists in London have invented a spray-on fabric. The spray contains cotton, wool, linen or acrylic fibres that dry instantly on your skin and turn into garments like t-shirts or tops. You can wash it and wear it again, just like other clothes. Then, when you get bored, you can dissolve it and make something new. The scientists are also looking into its use for spray-on bandages and furniture coverings. Scientists have found a way to print out fully functional machines using 3D printers. This bicycle is made of nylon. It's as strong as steel, but much lighter. It comes out as a complete bike, so there's no assembly required. The possibilities for 3D printing technology could be endless. Medical researchers hope that with a special cartridge of human cells and biofriendly gel, they can use it to print out skin grafts for burn victims. VR headsets are useful in healthcare to train surgeons and in space exploration to help NASA explore Mars. In the future, experts say VR headsets could allow you to take a virtual tour around a museum or attend live performances and sporting events where it looks, feels and sounds like you're in the audience. Before long, you'll be able to do whatever you want, wherever you want, 
without ever leaving your living room. Exercise 3. Read the text again and for the questions choose from the text which text mentions. Robust material, it is said in the second, B. A form of recycling in the first, A. A potential first aid use, A. Treasure hunting, C. A machine which needs no putting together, B. An easy way to go shopping, C. An invention with limitless potential, B. In exercise 4, you have to fill in. Let's check. The air bike is ready to ride as it doesn't require any assembly. Dr. Torres has developed a fabric that can turn into any garment. The possibilities of using the new spray are endless. The high resolution graphics in this game give an amazing picture. Some supermarkets are using plastic bags which dissolve in water, leaving no trace. Now let's talk about grammar. Exercise 5. Future tenses. Let's remember. We use future simple to make on-the-spot decision. Time expressions are tomorrow, next Saturday, next week. Month, year, the day after tomorrow, soon, in a week, month, year, etc. It's very hot. I'll go and have a swim. We also use it to make prediction based on what we think or believe will happen in the future, usually with the verbs hope, believe, think, imagine, expect. With the expressions I'm sure, I'm afraid. With the adverbs probably, perhaps, etc. Scientists believe loggerhead turtles will increase in numbers in the next few years. We use it for promises, threats, warnings, hope and refers. These volunteers promise they will do their best to collect money for the environmental program. We use Future Simple for actions and events which will definitely happen in the future and which we cannot control. My grandmother will be 60 tomorrow. And we never use it in the time clothes after the words when, as, while, before, after, since, until, till, whenever, as long, as, as soon, as, etc. As soon as I finish this project, I will be free to go on holiday. We use be going to to talk about plans and intentions in the near future. And time expressions are tomorrow, next, this week, month, year, in a little while, the day after tomorrow, in two, three years, time, etc. Next week, month, year, tonight, soon, in a week, in a month, and so on. I am going to visit my cousin in London tonight. We also use be going to to make predictions based on what we see or know. Look at the man. He's going to slip on the wet floor. When we are talking about timetables and programs, we use present simple. The girls are excited because the holidays begin tomorrow. And we can use the present continuous to talk about fixed arrangements in the near future. I'm traveling to Africa in a few hours to work for a volunteer program. We also use it for changing or gradually developing situations. Air pollution is getting worse and worse these days. Future continuous is formed with the verb auxiliary will, be, plus, participle 1, verb with ending ing. In negative sentence, we add particle not to the auxiliary verb, will not, won't. In interrogative sentences, we put the auxiliary verb will before the subjects. Short answers are yes, I will or no, I won't. This time next week I will be swimming in the ocean. We use the future continuous for actions 
which will be in progress at a stated time in the future. This time tomorrow, they will be hiking in the jungle. We use it also for actions which will definitely happen in the future as a result of a routine or arrangement. The volunteers for the penguin program will be helping to protect these little blue penguins this summer. And we can use it also when we ask politely about somebody's plans for the near future. Will you be doing anything interesting at the weekend? Yes, I'll be taking part in a beach cleanup. Now let's match the examples to the descriptions. Number one. It's hot in here. I'll open the window. It's letter E. And on the spot decision. She's going to buy a printer soon. It's D. A plan or intention. Don't worry. I won't be late. It's a promise. A. Sarah's taking her driving test next week. It's B. A fixed arrangement. The fifth. Our homes will be very different in the future. C. A prediction based on what we believe or imagine. Number six. I won't be studying tomorrow afternoon. F. An action in progress at a certain time in the future. And the last. He's got the car keys. He's going to drive into the city. It's G. A prediction based on what we see. In exercise 6, you are to choose the correct verb form. Identify the reason for the use of each tense. Let's check. That's the phone. I will answer it. I think he will be happier there. Now that I've got some money... I'm going to buy a new PC. Are you working tomorrow? This time next week we will be traveling to Chile. Sorry, I won't lie again. Ulan is wearing his t-shirt, shorts and trainers. He is going to play football. In exercise 7, you are to say two things you will be doing this time next week. I will be studying at school this time next week. I will be having an English lesson this time next week. Are doing tomorrow. I'm playing football tomorrow evening. I'm visiting my grandparents tomorrow evening. We'll do in the summer. In the summer, I will swim in the sea. In the summer, I will go on holiday. Are going to do this weekend. I'm going to clean my room this weekend. I'm going to watch TV this weekend. And in exercise 8. How do you think each invention in the text will improve our lives? Write a few sentences. Listen to the model. People will be able to make clothes that fit them perfectly with the spray-on fabric. They won't need to look for clothes that are the right size. Fabrican will also help people who travel a lot. They won't need to pack so many clothes when they travel. The 3D printer will help scientists and medics to test their ideas. Also, shoppers will be able to use it to get what they want without leaving the house. VR headsets will make games more exciting. Surgeries will be more successful. People can go on a VR holiday and have amazing experiences at home.